What's up, guys? Uh, Victor with Scry2. We're going to open a third Modern Masters booster box because we're crazy. And because we did so bad last night, we felt like we needed to make a comeback. So, let's go back. See what we can do here. Last box was incredibly bad, but the first box I opened of this stuff was incredibly good, so hopefully this one is average. Last box, no Damnation, no Blood Moon, no Liliana, no Goyf. Three Mythics were Past and Flame, Sphinx's Rev, and Bonfire of the Damned. <laughs> uh, did get two foil, foil rares. They were decent. Foil Spell Pierce, also. Alright, first pack, Stoic Angel. Let's see. There was a thread on Reddit where a guy opened no fetches, one Mythic, which was Bonfire, and three Stoic Angels in his box. So, hopefully this is better than that. Alright, God. As usual, first one. Foil Fist of the Ironwood. And... Primal Command, so... God, the same card in the last box. Same card in the last box. Those three... Hopefully that doesn't show... Uh, what this box is going to be like. Nothing to mention in there. Alright. Yeah, we're in, in Georgia right now. In... Stop at a shop and happen to have some boxes. And every time I see a foil there, I thought that prepared me so. <laughs> um, we happen to have a few boxes left at a good price. So I stopped in and said uh, that I would pick up one. Since my last one was so bad. Alright. Well, Stony Silence is at least a playable card. Not a great card. I like the art on this new one. I mean, that's fine. It's just right now it's not super valuable. In these boxes, you gotta get your value out somehow. Like by getting foil pictures. Oh my goodness. Trolls. Okay, that's fine. And oh no. Iron Justice. Oh no. That's not a good sign. <laughs> I starting off strong. For uh, sure. Is a charm some home. Okay. Not even a spell pierce yet? No, I got a mystical teaching. I haven't seen I don't think I've pulled one of these in my other boxes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Try a different pack. Different aisle. Let's see what we get. Oh, oh my god, the second foil guild game. <laughs> they keep getting me. You keep getting me. And... Lord. Oh, no. I think this might be the exact same box. Flicker Wisp and a Pyroclasm. Soul Wardens and those things. Let's see. All right, nothing really good. Let's go to Domri. Domri's going to save us. Hopefully there's not a Domri in this pack. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. This set is hit or miss. All right, there's a Goblin Guide. Should be good. And Brav Deep Loa. Goblin Guide's okay. That'll save us a little bit. Good. I don't think I even pulled, aside from fetches, I don't think I pulled one $10 plus rare in the second box. So, that's fine. Yep. Let's go back to that aisle again. That, that row, if you will. Drop to a problem. What? Oh, third ghoul guild gate. Man, they're trying to get me. And a catacomb. Okay. So that's 20 bucks or so. Decent. Decent. Uh, Signet, a war monk, and a teleportal. I put a gore clan in the rares. I'm never going to be a rare. 
Theo Primordium again. Okay. So, Verdant. That seems to be a hot pack. Let's go down that aisle again. Oh, Guildgate City. And. Ooh. Coil oh, wow. Mythic. I don't I'm think afraid. it's a whole lot, but. Cool. It is a foil mythic. I thought you actually went straight to the mythic. No, and Olivia. Olivia wow. mythic. Double mythic pack. All right. Double mythic pack. Interesting. That's the that's the draft card right there for Grizzle Brain. Hit that with Brain. I don't know. I don't think this is one of them's not coming back to you. So I don't think you're gonna get to live the dream. No. All right, so that, that row has been pretty good. Double Mythic. Double Mythic with the Verdant. Grizzle Brand is probably still 15, 20 bucks, Youthful Knight. So I don't know that I'll have a foil rare now. And Broodmate Dragon. Okay. Oh, Terminate. Those are always good to have on hand. Let people play gigantic, dumb creatures like Grizzle Brand. Let's see. Foil Grizzle Brand, man. Oh, I thought a foil Liliana would be better, huh? <laughs> but, of course, guy for sure. And, Abrupt Decay. Okay. It's pretty good. It's utility. It, play, it gets played. Things very rare, so on. Besides the boxes. Mm -hmm. No spell piercing yet. Mm -hmm. Oh, speaking Look of that. Look at that. You can call it. Now, once you say no voice yet, that would be good. <laughs> Say no goyfs. Come on, before I open a pack, say no more goyfs. No goyfs yet. No goyfs yet either. There we go. No foil goyfs yet. No foil goyfs yet. Even better. Even better. All right, so just looked up Grizzle Brand. It's about 25 right now, PCG mid. So, eh, you know, mid is actually high, lower than the low. Low is 29.99. Foil Poker Plans. Alright. And... Another Grizzle Brand. Oh my goodness. Alright, this is the Grizzle Daddy box. <laughs> the Grizzle Daddy box. <laughs> but, it is not passing flames, and she's not bonfire, so we're fine. Some Exigent, some home. So, we're fine. There's probably about a hundred Madcap skills <laughs> in every box. That's what I think. Come on. Good foil. Wing craft. Not spectacular. And. Dead Eye. I wish I was Dead Eye Navigator. And. Inquisition. No, no Inquisitions. I haven't seen a whole lot of Inquisitions pulled. No, I didn't look through those commons. Let's see. Mist Raven. Okay. Mystical Teachings again. So the Grizzle Brand box. You know, I'd, I would like to pull a Snapcaster Mage just because it's got new art and it's cool. Yeah. New art's always fun to pull. It's a card that I don't think really needed a new art because it just got the Pro Tour art. Definitely cool card. So one in a green foil. Why can't it be a Tarmogoy foil? And Linvala. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So the Mythics in this box were at least decent. Um, you going to keep her? Yeah, probably. Probably keep her around. She's worth something. I don't know what I'll put her in. Company? Know. No, I don't want to keep her. I don't know. But she is definitely always good to have. Just in case. Just, I mean, it depends on your meta, of course. Your meta, whatever you want to, however you want to say it. It doesn't matter to me. But, you know, our meta doesn't really warrant playing Linvala right now where I live. So, Foil Signets. And... Thrag Tusk. Dang, I saw the green. I think I have a Thrag Tusk in every box now. You didn't get one last time, did you? Did I? I thought I did. I don't think you did. And let's see. Man, this guy making his little spiders everywhere. I'm looking. I got Thrag Wise left. Where? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we're a little over halfway through the box. Got all the mythics. One fetch land, a foil mythic. 
I don't know if it means we're not getting a foil rare, but who knows. Foil Goy. Wait, Goy from Mythic is Foil Goy would be impossible at this point, I think. No, I don't think so. But <clears throat> you never know. An ooze. Graceful Reprieve. Not fantastic. And a Scooz. Mm. Alright, so we're playing junk in this, this deck here. Pyroclasm, Signet. Not a bad box so far. I don't know if I've gotten necessarily my value back, but. <clears throat> I would like another fetch. I haven't pulled a Tarn. I've pulled just about every other fetch you can imagine. This is a blue rare, I think. I think I saw it. Oh, maybe I saw the Crippling Chill foil. Oh. Terminus. Into the line. I guess we'll put that there. If it's Still there's something maybe. No, it's like two bucks, I think. I did get a double rare, because this used to be rare. So. <coughs> Haha, wizards. I've gotten you. Uh, Seagate and Lone Missionary. Right. This product, it's like it's a thrill to open, that's for sure. Aww. It's a green foil. Green foil. But it's no tea. Thing. Arachnus web. Oh, Aaron Mesa. Alright. Another fetchy. Fetchy fetch lands. And Rewind, Gifts, yeah, you know it's a bad box when last night I was excited about pulling a foil gift. That was one of my cards to show off that I pulled. Beautiful. Little... Nice art. Foil. Okay, it's beautiful art foil, but it's not something you want to just brag about. Like, oh yeah, this... my box had a foil gift of Orzova in it. Wow, look at me go. These packs tear open horrible, too. Alright, let's do it. Foil fetch lane? Nope. Regular fetch land? Nope. It's a red card. Reckoner. Reckoner. I reckon Reckoner. that ain't too bad. <laughs> I think, yeah, no, someone caught it, I'm sure. I see that card, and I think Boros Charm, but it's New Art Sky Knight, which is actually really cool. This guy did some work for me in the in the format it was in, limited wise. All right. Seven packs left. Two fetch lands. Which is about average, so we're probably all out of juice. But you never know. Aww, verse three. Mm, Graft Deer's Cage. Playable. Yeah. It is playable, so it's not bad. Field of Vision. No pass, Inquisition. No pass, no Inquisitions, not even a Cro my, uh, Old Croza or a Serum Visions. Jeez. None of the big uncommons. So, maybe that means that this box has one gift left to give. Oh, did I just curse myself into getting a foil oh, gift I'm giving? <laughs> <laughs> or regular Falcon Wrath Aristocrat. Still one of my favorite cards. Not one of my favorite cards to pull, but... Jeez. Not the worst. Not the most spectacular. Alright. At least I pulled the Catacombs. I need a couple more, so I'll take them. I guess at this point I could have just bought a set of them as cheap as they are now. Ooh, opportunity foil. Okay. Uh, big blue dot in her head. And, oh boy, put that down. What the heck is We're that? We're not even going to talk about that card. What is it? It's Extractor Demon. It's the worst. I don't know. Is it the worst rare in the set? Maybe. Maybe not necessarily for drafting, but just in general. Just in general. Lynn Vala is sweet to pick up. And I got two Grizzle Brands. I'm halfway to Grizzle Brand, so. Auger Foil. Look at the bottom three. And a Pyromancer's Ascension. Still nothing. Entombed Holy Thoctar and a Dolgari Germination. Well. Oh, Explore. Last three. 
this is this is a draft pool right here. This is what you would get in draft. <coughs> so pull that out. Yeah, I think the foil mythic was the the gas for the box. That's fine. Oh my no. god. <laughs> oh my god, I called it. Did I not call it earlier? If you go back three minutes, you'll see that I said this box has one gift to give. And it <laughs> I mean, I, I just called it. Like, I just called that I was going to pull that card. It's probably a 10 to $15 card, but... <laughs> oh, I'm saying I'm for this. <laughs> you did it. I did call it. It's spooky that it was in a seance pack. Oh, man. Well, you do this. Oh, Garbage. God. They're really me. I mean, a foil gift I'm giving is still pretty sweet. Not as no. sweet as a foil goyf. I bet you that card's probably 10, 15 bucks. Oh, that's pretty good. The last two packs have the sauce. They have the juice. Still no good uncommons, though. I don't understand that. But that's One fine. Pierce. One spell pierce. I don't understand the lack of paths or senior visions or mites or... I don't know. Did I get my foil uncommon for the box? Let's see. I think I just saw it. Yeah, opportunity. Okay. Uh, and Vit Sting, Vit Bean Stinger. What else we got? Oh, Racto Signet. Yeah, I think I'm all out of foil uncommons as well. So, yeah, Bronze Beat Molo. Wow. Twice heavy for this is a lot. Oh, man. Another yeah. creature. I don't know. Enters the battlefield. This gets 3 3. That comes a 5 5 when something comes in. You play with Lingering Souls. You're playing Green White. You've got. All kinds of things. I think can get pretty big. All right. Last pack. Last pack. The box, this is probably average. I wouldn't say exciting box, but I wouldn't say I'm going to cry about it. So we get a foil Forbidden Alchemy, which is decent. Last rare of the box. Just kidding. Niv Niv. Draco. Oh, well. Who was so bad he got turned into a rare. Well, not so bad, but can I get one good uncommon? Molten Rain. Okay. At least it's one playable uncommon. Um Yeah. So, to recap, let's pull these guys out. We have Damnation. Catch it. Catch it. There we go. Okay. Damnation. Ooze, which isn't really a big one, but it's still fun. Drag Tusk. Linvala. Regular Grizzle Brand. Abrupt Decay. Abrupt Decay. Oh. Olivia. Olivia. That was the Goyf that came back. Came back. Yeah. That that was the goy from Buff to K Pack for my first box. Foil Grizzle Daddy. Verdant Catacombs. So that's not bad. Goblin Guy. Eric Mason. Always always utility when he fetches. Foil gifts, so decent. Cage and Terminus. Those were what I would consider playables. These guys, you know, whatever you want to do with them. I don't know what you'd call these. Oh, wait, I forgot. Stony Silence is playable. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? These other ones, though, I guess in a box, you can't complain if you only get one, two, three, four, five, six. Almost half the rares are unplayable, but for one box, over half the rares playable. That's fine. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and comment.